Welcome back to the homestead. Want to check out our nurse grafting experiment with this gold rush scion here that I've got next to me. We've seen a lot of growth get pushed out over the past year up top. So I want to check out what's underneath, see if we've got some of the roots we were hoping for last year. Even if all we've got is a healed over graft union, I'll take it and we'll go ahead and put it in the ground in its permanent location where hopefully we can train it to be above deer and, and all that. Uh, but let's go ahead and dig this up and check out that growth. So I just want to note before I take this cage off from around it, we did have some deer activity even over the winter. So the two posts were supposed to hold the cage in place and at some point it kind of leaned over. Could have even been from a deer brushing up against it. The cage around this other apple tree that's going to stay in this location got nice and bent over here. So I'm assuming that's what happened to this one. Not quite a tall enough cage obviously for uh, protecting these but even though this one was taller this side branch uh, got nibbled off and then the top of the the leader here uh, was eaten out as well but there's still plenty of growth there I plan to take off any side shoots anyway at least these large ones uh, so not too concerned about that All right, so we certainly have a huge cluster of roots. You can see it really just took off. Looks like it healed over very well. Uh, the graft union is uh, definitely good. Um, glad I got this off of there so we wouldn't be constricting this any longer because uh, that could certainly be a problem. But as far as roots actually coming out from the scion, I actually only found this one spot up here where we've got this other branch that I will be removing. Uh, but here we've got two little roots started. <laughs> so that looks like all we've got, that and the healing of this, uh, really was only all the progress that we had. Uh, there is a little bit of activity, I think, on the tip here. Uh, we'd probably have to wait a few years to dig it back out and see then. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, but given, given how difficult it was just to get this out and not have destroyed all of these roots, I don't think this will come out of the ground again. And if it does, um, maybe it would just be because something happens with the top and uh, it's not worth much or something. Uh, but yeah, we've got some roots coming out. Uh, certainly have to admit that. Those roots would not have been there had it not been uh, buried. Um, I will make sure to make the soil line a little bit higher here uh, and then maybe that'll help promote these even further. Maybe we'll get a good cluster. Yeah, I'm still super pleased uh, with the amount of growth that we got out of this. Still definitely plan to use this and plant it. I think it'll make us a uh, great many apples uh, here in the future. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in the bucket, get the site dug and uh, plant this out. All right, well, that's it for today. I've got it caged up again, and I might do something maybe with a string across the middle just to keep this thing a little bit straighter, but I think sunlight is gonna be more even in this area throughout the day, so that's probably not gonna be an issue at all. So maybe as I get this trained, or once it gets to the height of this cage or so, I might start trying to train it for those larger branches. So if I get to that point, I might throw some more videos out about this, but till then, uh, if you want to see some more videos, of course, subscribe or else uh, check out this video next. Thanks for watching.